Warframe keeps up its Nightwave event with Series 3. The Culling is making a comeback for the third, fourth time? League of Legends kicks off its Pulse Fire event, and what if I told you you could get GTA 5 for free? But it could crash the internet. What's good, everyone? James Blonde here with your weekly recap for gaming news and announcements of the week of May 15th, 2020. And once again, real quick, before we kick off the news, I wanted to remind you that Bionic Logic Inc., the parent company of MMO Huts and CPM Star, has launched an equity crowdfunding campaign. Support the best MMO coverage out there and become an investor and partial owner of MMO Huts at the link below. Startengine.com slash Bionic Logic dash Inc. Anyway, moving on this week, Apex Legends has kicked off its Season 5 recently. Starring in this major update is the new legend Loba, who can teleport around using her Jump Drive bracelet. Not only that, she can use her ultimate to teleport loot straight into her inventory and see epic and legendary loot through walls. Yeah, that doesn't sound like cheats. Not in the slightest. Season 5 also introduces map updates to King's Canyon, adding a new salvage point of interest, destroying Skull Town and Thunderdome, a zipline balloon between Salvage and Gauntlet, and more. There's also a season-long quest, new charge towers, and even more, so make sure you hop in to check everything out. Meanwhile, in Warframe, Nightwave Series 3 has started on all platforms. This is another special event series that offers rewards across 30 ranks as you investigate a series of murders committed by the twisted killer Glassmaker. You can unlock new cosmetics, augments, and if you hit rank 30, you'll be able to claim the exclusive Nightwave Landing Craft. The series is expected to run at least two months, with daily and weekly missions to complete to help you get all that new loot. In a bizarre bit of news, The Culling, one of the original Battle Royale games, or so it claims, has relaunched on Xbox One under a new name, The Culling Origins. It's not the first time this game has been resurrected though, but uh, what's really odd is the game's new business model. First off, it costs $5.99 after a one day free trial, but then players only get one free play per day. To play additional games, you have to use the online match tokens, which can only be received by winning a match or buying them from the game's shop. You can also buy a seven day or 30 day game pass if you don't want to fork out for each game. Uh, this is really just a bad mashup of arcade tokens and a buy-to-play business model. But hey, there's always time for a second chance, I suppose. Or a fourth one in this case. Coming back down to Earth a bit, World of Warships has offered a preview of this week's update 0.9.4, now in testing. This update will introduce new Tier 8 and Tier 9 Soviet cruisers, a new branch of Soviet tech tree that offers strong armor piercing that excel at mid-range. Submarines are also going to be launching in a special battle type during an upcoming event that will run into June. For all the details, make sure you check out the link in the description below. And it looks like Arc Age is changing things up with a brand new expansion called the Garden of the Gods. This expansion will launch on June 11th and will introduce new tiers of gear and a story that takes place over dozens of quests. Prepare for lush forests and enchanted groves, player-defended castles, and much more to be announced in the coming weeks. If that's not enough to sell you, Game of Go's also revealed that the new brown Shiba Inu pet is also available now or can be earned in the new expansion. Can't say no to a puppy, right? Kurt Spell has also announced this week the upcoming arrival of its ninth karma, Soul of Magus. Available through Adel de Floretta, this karma offers powerful magic skills that can do some serious AoE damage, pull in enemies to control them, and even buff allies. It looks to be a strong ranged skill set, so if that's your style, it might be worth checking out. And while madness is going on in the real world, Heavy Metal Machines just kicked off its Season 9 titled Before the Madness. This season is designed to take players back in time to before the apocalypse occurred, giving more of a backstory to the car battle racing world. This season's pass offers a total of 114 new rewards, 54 of which are free, while the rest are available in a premium bundle. And a little bit of a surprise is the fantasy MMORPG Aeon comes back into the spotlight with the announcement of the Shadows Over Baluria update. This major update is going to introduce a new six-man instance, a new stat equalized battleground, and a revamp of the Valur region. It also introduces a new renown system which grants rewards as players rank up through doing quests and killing monsters in the region. There will also be a new gemstone and runestone system to look forward to. 
Expect to see this update later this month. Wrapping up the new updates for this week, League of Legends has begun its Pulse Fire event, which runs from May 14th through June 15th. There will be two passes available for this event, which grant tokens, orbs, and in the higher tier, Pulse Fire Lucian. The pass also grants special missions to help you maximize your point gain during the event. In addition to the Pulse Fire Lucian, there will also be special skins for Echo, Fiora, and Pantheon. There's also lots of other cool stuff to earn if you want that special in-game flair. And in a sad bit of news, GameAgo announced that it's shutting down Dragon's Prophet in Europe and the spin-off title Savage Hunt. Dragon's Prophet didn't get a whole lot of fair shake in North America under Daybreak, but the European version was actually doing pretty well for itself. Europe's Dragon Nest, run by publisher Cherry Credits, also just shut down for good, so I guess that means that EU is going to be looking out for some new MMORPGs to play really soon. And finally, we have to touch on the deals of the week because this weekend is epic. And by epic, I mean way to go Epic Games. First off, the free game on Epic Games Store is GTA V. Yeah, you heard me right. The premium edition of Grand Theft Auto V is free on the Epic Store this weekend. It's caused such a rush of excitement that it's actually caused major service disruptions to the Epic Games Store itself and GTA Online. And you gotta keep your eye out because IGN is hinting that next week it might be The Witcher 3. That hasn't been proven yet, but we can all dream. Meanwhile, over on Steam, Conan Exiles, Stellaris, and Fallout 76 are free to play, once again, for a limited time. All three games just had some big updates in the past couple of weeks, so it's a good chance to see what's changed for nothing but the cost of your download time. But with that said, that's about it for all the major news and announcements for this week. Be sure to stay safe and keep your families healthy. Like always, you can find more information on the news topics linked in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, Wash your hands a bunch, hit that little bell icon to get notifications, and of course, share this video. But until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, baby.